Well, it is a beautiful, if warm, Sunday afternoon down here on the bayou. And today, I'm going to revisit this uh, piece of, of uh, deuce gear or load-bearing equipment. Uh, some of you, my five faithful, will remember this is part of that, what is that, an FSBE? I'm trying to remember what it's called. No, that's not what it's called. ECLS? Anyway, this is uh, that load-bearing equipment that comes, or is supposed to come, with flotation devices inside of it. Here, 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 and then there's a yoke where the shoulder straps are, are all flotation device, so that if a SEAL or a Green Beret or a, a Marine Recon guy, Recon, Marine Recon, what am I? Marine Recon guy wants to... Uh, wear this gear he gets a little more flotation and I guess I guess it's in the belt too a little more flotation to help to offset the weight of all his gear now will it keep him afloat no I doubt it very seriously because that gear weighs a lot but like I said it may offset it so when I got this thing the only piece it came with was the the um the shoulder yoke and um if you've watched my, my other videos about that, you've, you've seen that. Like so. That is the issue shoulder yoke. But I had put in some uh, sleeping mat foam. And that's this stuff right here. And I put it in both here and here and there. And didn't test it, but I put that in there. And then some folks started saying, well, maybe you ought to use the actual stuff that the United States Cook Guard says is... Um, is appropriate so what I did is I went over to Academy and I picked up this cheap made in China 1799 adult oversized flotation device Coast Guard approved it's even approved by Canada and I'm going to cut it up and I'm going to put the pieces in here so that possibly I'll get the best flotation for my for my buck out of this make sense Let's do it. So here's the uh, the uh, green uh, pad that I had in there taken out. I threw this one away because it wasn't a very good cut. This one is the, about the best pattern of the two. And um, so I chunked the other one. So I'm going to use these as a pattern to um, cut my new pieces. And it looks like it's more than big enough to uh, to serve. So if you've never seen what's inside a Coast Guard approved life jacket, prepare to be unimpressed. Um, it's just foam. I mean, it's just five layers of foam. Is it better than this? I have no idea. But that's not Coast Guard approved, this is. So I don't know how many layers. I do like that it's layers because now I can figure out exactly how much of this stuff I can cram into the vest. But this is this is what's in it, folks. Um, that's what you're counting your life on, staking your life on. Okay, let's get to it. So I've drawn the pattern out on all five of these layers. And notice, I've only taken out one piece of this. I've still got the entire back section, which is a pretty good size section, and then I've got the other piece of the front. So, um, uh, dang, I was hoping I'd be able to get this back piece out of here, but I don't think I can. So, um, we'll see. We'll see. I was hoping I would be able to save this back piece for maybe something else, but I don't know. All right, so I'm going to cut these out, and then we're going to see how many we can cram in there. Um, I'm hoping I can get three. All right, I spared you a lot of that. Um, so I got three layers in, although this last layer I had to trim quite a bit. And you can see it's pretty puffy. And I may find that it's putting too much stress on this webbing. I don't know. But you know what? That is, that's its damn job. So we're going to see how that works out. Um, it's definitely more than this would have been. And I think it's more than the original. I may have to pull that out and compare compare notes. Yeah, let's do that. 
Okay, here's the only original piece of flotation that came with it. And you know, I think it's the same stuff that that we have here. And let's see how thick it is compared to the other one. This is hard to do one-handed. But I think it's about two layers thick. So if I can get three layers, whoa! If I can get three layers everywhere else, then that's going to be really cool. Who knows, maybe I can get a layer in there. All right, so I have both of the front panels done. Um, they're a little tight, but I got three layers in there, which is thicker than the original would have been and thicker than the, the uh, camping mat was. So now what I'm going to do is, if I can find it, is I'm going to replicate this original piece and see if I can't, and I don't know if I can, but see if I can't get another layer there too. So hopefully I'm improving even from the original uh, the flotation of, of this device. Now here is an interesting development. I just cut the back out of this thing and the back only has three panels not five like the front did. Very interesting. Which I can understand that because you want the front to pull you over you know, if you were unconscious and you fell in the water, you would want the front to pull you over. So I could see why they would have more padding in the front. But um, I didn't know it did. So there's only three layers here. Very, very interesting. All right, so I've cut out one more panel. We're going to put this guy back in and then see if we can put these in. Don't know if we can. All right, we got that extra layer in there. So as it stands right now, the front panels and the yoke all have an extra layer, and now we just got to do this back part. All right, so here it is. Got it on, and you know it doesn't feel bad. I've got three layers of flotation in there, which by my accounting is one layer more than it originally would have had, and it doesn't feel, it doesn't feel bad at all. So I think the next thing to do is to find out what kind of flotation this thing offers me, uh, just as it is now. Not that I'd ever use it this way, but let's find out what it does. And then we need to put some weight on it and find out what it does there. Do I think it's going to hold me up? Heck, I don't think it's going to hold me up like this. Um, certainly not once I put some magazines or the weight uh, approximating some magazines on here. But I think it would help. And here's, here's what's rolling around in my head. Let's say you want to come ashore for some operation. You want to do a recon. From sea to shore recon. You're coming ashore. You come off a boat a few hundred yards off the coast, off the, off the shore. And you've got some uh, um, gear on, you know military gear, weapon, and maybe you've got a life jacket on too, just to help you navigate to shore. Then you dump the life jacket, you've still got this on. You've got your gear. You go do whatever it is you were going to do. A little sneak and peek and snoop and poop, and, and then you come back. Maybe you get your life jacket back where you stowed it on the, on the beach. Maybe you don't. Either way, when you head back out, uh, you throw your fins back on and you head back out. This is going to hopefully offer you a little more buoyancy so that you have to work a little less hard staying afloat, trading water, getting back out to that boat or whatever. And it's, it's just a scenario. It is just a scenario. That's all I'm saying. Um, but it's interesting to me. So let's see what it does. So this very easily could be the kind of load you would put on this load bearing vest. I've got uh, two um, two mag uh, pouches and two one mag pouches and then I've got two canteen pouches and then two these are two saw pouches uh, saw you know ammo pouches but they're they're great GP pouches uh, an IFAC would go in one general purpose whatever or more ammo so what I'm gonna do 
is I'm going to take some of these one pound, and I think this is half pound. Um, and I got one three pound. I'm missing one of my three pounders, um, and I'm going to distribute them, and we'll try to approximate a combat load. Okay, so this is what I've decided on. I got a pound and a half in here, a pound and a half in here, a pound in here, a pound in here. I've got six pounds in this little bad boy, which is going to go in the back. And then I got two homemade canteens. I'll fill them with water when I get there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this to the water. And I'm going to put it on and see what kind of flotation I get out of it. Blank. And then I'm going to put this gear on and see how it does then. Does that sound fun or what? Next time.